Hello everyone. Welcome to Fun with Maths. Today we are going to learn about the very basic things of the maths that is natural number, whole number and integers. I have chosen this topic for today because without this it is very difficult to understand maths. So these are very basic things to learn maths. So first let's learn about the natural number. Natural number means counting numbers. For all counting numbers we call as natural number. When we count the numbers, the number starts from 1. While counting, we never say 0 numbers. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we count the numbers from the 1. So all counting numbers we call as a natural number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on. So all those numbers are the natural numbers. Natural number starts from 1 and it's, it extends towards infinity. So when we talk about the lowest natural number, we get 1 as a lowest natural number. But it is very difficult to find the greater natural number or you can say larger natural number because it is extending towards infinity. So we can't find it the last natural number. So lowest natural number is 1 but we cannot tell about the highest natural number about the largest natural number or you can say it is totally undefined term. Now let's learn about whole numbers. So whole numbers starts from 0 and it extends towards infinity. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on. So you can see the difference between the natural number and whole number is when we include 0 in the natural number set we get whole number set. So difference in between these two sets is of only 0. 0 is additional over here. When you include 0 in the natural number set then we get whole number set that is whole numbers. Now when we talk about the lowest whole number you can see 0 is the lowest whole number and when we talk about the highest whole number it is difficult to find it. Same as like a natural number we can't find the highest whole number because whole numbers are extending towards infinity. So again highest nat whole number is the undefined term or we cannot tell about the highest whole number. Now let's talk about integers. So integer means it is the set of all whole numbers and opposite of natural number. So let's write all whole numbers. We can see whole number starts from 0 and it is extending towards infinity. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. It is extending towards right side. Then all opposite of all natural numbers. Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. So opposite of any number means you have to change the sign of that number. Positive number, opposite number is negative and negative number, opposite is positive. So 1 positive is minus 1, 2 positive is minus 2, the negative of 3 is minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So when we talk about the integer, we get some negative numbers and some positive numbers and even 0 also. So definition of integer is all whole numbers and opposite of natural number together make it set of integers. So the numbers which you get negative all those numbers we call negative integers. So these are the negative integers and the numbers which appear on the right side of 0, all those numbers we call positive integers. These are the positive integers. 
zero is the integer, but it is neither positive nor negative. So zero is neither positive nor negative. There is no sign for the zero. But for all negative integers, we find minus sign. And for all positive integers, you can find positive sign. Left side, all negative integers. Right side, all positive integers. When you go from left to right, see what I'm saying? When you go from left to right, value of the integers is increasing. So, when I go from left to right, means uh, from 0 to 1, I'm going to the right. Of course, 1 is greater than 0. Then 2 is greater than 1. 3 is greater than 2. 4 is greater than 3. So, when we move towards right side, we get the higher integers. When we move to the left side, then we get lower integer. For example, 0 and minus 1. When we talk about the 0 and minus 1, minus 1 is located to the left side of 0. So, of course, minus 1 is less than 0. Then, when you move to, towards left, that is minus 3. So, minus 3 is left to the minus 1. That's why minus 3 is lowest than minus 1. So, when you move towards right side, then you find the integers increasing. But when you move towards left side, you can find that integers are decreasing. So, when we talk about just integers, negative integers, in case of neg negative integer, highest negative integer is minus 1. Minus 1 is the highest negative integer. I have not used the word just integer. I have used the word which is the highest negative integer. When we talk about the highest negative integer, we know that the negative num numbers starts from here. And the number exact located to the right side means last number which is located to the right side is minus 1. And as I have defined that when you move towards the right side, all numbers are increasing. So, when we talk about the negative number, negative number minus 1 is the last one that is, uh, it, it is located to the right side, exact right side. Then for this number, we call as the highest negative number. But it is difficult to find the lowest negative number. Reason behind that is, this integers are extending towards left side. So, it is ex extending towards left side and to the left side, all numbers are getting decreased. So, it is difficult to find the last number to the left side, that is lowest number. So, lowest negative number, it is impossible to find. We can't define it. But, highest negative number, we can find it as minus 1. Now, let's talk about all positive integers. When we talk about the positive integers, you can see that exact to left corner here, you can see as 1. Middle 1 is the 0. To the left of 0, all negative numbers. And to the right of 0, all positive numbers. So, when we talk about the zero, lowest positive natural, uh, sorry, lowest positive, positive integer. In that case, lowest positive integer is 1. I am using positive integer. Lowest positive integer is 1. But when we try to find out the highest positive integer, again it is impossible to find it because it is extending towards right side. And we know that to the right side, all numbers are getting increased. So when we find the highest, when we try to find the highest positive integer, it is just impossible to find the highest one. So we can tell just about the lowest negative uh, lowest positive integer that is 1 and lowest highest negative integer that is minus 1. Now this this was about just negative and positive but simply when we say which is the highest integer and which is the pos lowest integer I am not using negative or positive I am just saying that which is the highest integer and which is the lowest integer again it is difficult to say that which one is the lowest and which one is the highest because we know that when we talk about the integer we are talking about entire set and when you go to the to the left side 
all numbers are decreasing means you are getting here somewhere lowest integer but where because all numbers are extending towards the infinity and it is impossible to find the exact last number so we can't tell about the lowest integer and same thing to the right side we can't tell about the highest integer so lowest integer and highest integer it is totally undefined term but when we talk about the negative integers and positive integers in that case we can find minus 1 is the highest negative integer and plus 1 is the lowest positive integer so this was just about the natural number whole number and integers now in my next video we will learn about the rational numbers and irrational numbers thank you